to see the people that are coming at you to guard you. You know, keeping, keeping inbound to Strobel. We have a timeout oh, that was called. Time, timeout was called before the ball was inbounded. So 34.2 seconds to go. Bruins are up by five. 27-22. How about a little bit of New York, New York, huh? Here we go. Little Frank Sinatra we starts spreading. Are you looking for a used car at an affordable price? Call Dave Montgomery at Dave's Car Corner. He has the nicest used cars on the market, and you just can't beat the friendly service that Dave Montgomery provides. Located at 1225 North Walnut Street in Hartford City. Good to see Bruin Faithful here making the trip down here to Blue River. We've got a good-sized crowd back behind us. And uh, right in front of us, we, we probably have 60, 70 Bruin fans here today. Strobel up with it, not strong enough to get it in the bucket. Rebounded by the Vikings and, and intercepted by Kaylee Hodges and knocked out of her hands. Shot is up and rebounded by Hodges and, and uh, fighting for the ball. And it's a jump ball will be going back to the Vikings. 17.9 seconds to go. Looks like the Vikings have a little burst of energy here to finish the half on. And uh, Good aggressive defense trying to get to the ball for Westerfield. She, she's not shy about getting in there. Number underneath four. the 14 and and she gets she her gets own rebound and puts it back that Reason cuts within three with eight seconds to go muncie with the ball for three points. three points just get off. in there and that'll okay. take us to halftime with the score 27 24 lady bruins are up we're, I, we're still having a few issues so Okay. Auto sales and service with Scott Confer and crew have over 85 years of experience in the auto sales and service area. Since 1946, Huggins has been a name you can trust to get you the car or truck you need and providing you with all of your service department needs from their highly trained ASC master technician. Located at 2603 North Walnut Street in Hartford City. Or you can see their inventory at HugginsShowroom.com. Especially, Steve, especially Steve, do you want these so you can hear? The American veterans or AMVETS. Our mission is to help all veterans secure the benefits they're entitled to as part of their enlistment. If you're a veteran and have never registered with the VA, contact us to discover all the benefits you may be entitled to. Our service officers are local in VA hospitals in Fort Wayne, Marion, and Indianapolis. They're certified to file a VA claim for you and see it through at no charge to you. Contact AMVETS at the number listed below. 1,000 degree oven, it would go faster. Are we back? And we're back. Our are you looking for a used car at an affordable price? Call Dave Montgomery at Dave's Car Corner. He has the nicest used cars on the market, and you just can't beat the friendly service that Dave Montgomery provides. Located at 1225 North Walnut Street in Hartford City. Uh, Vikings were able to get back into the game. A couple adjustments made by the Vikings. They started getting more aggressive in their in their play and, and uh, top that with some of the turnovers uh, by the Bruins. Um, but at, at one point, I believe the Bruins were up by over 10 points. And uh, so anyway, we're here at halftime. It's a three point lead by the Bruins. They just chipped away at it a little bit at a time, didn't they? Yep. So what did you see in the first half that made a difference or where we can, you know, make a difference coming up in the second half? Well, I thought at the, at the beginning of the game, the girls came out with uh, a lot of good confidence and, and uh, uh, playing good defense. And right. again, yep. I, I hate to sound like I repeat myself after every game, but good defense leads to easy offensive points. And, and that's the key to the Bruins game right now, uh, both with the JV and the varsity. Um, as they play defense, the stronger the defense they play, it just seems like the offense gets easier. So um, 
you know, we want to we want to keep the defensive pressure going up. Uh, that's when the Bruins were able to get to that 10 point lead. And then little by little, uh, you know, between our turnovers and the corrections made by the Vikings, uh, we allowed them to get back into the game here. Uh, they're within three points here at halftime. How about you, Doug? What do you see today? I think, I, I'm not sure, but I think we're still at, we're, we're at another commercial. Commer I think. So, see the tall red-headed guy? Yes. His son, his son's the, he was a six foot four freshman last year. That's cool. Are we with Huggins right now? No, we're live. Oh, we're still live? Okay, we're live. Good, good. Okay, all right. Gotcha. Uh, oh, it's just a picture. I thought we, we had Huggins up. So sorry, guys. Okay. So we were talking about, um, yeah, I, I'm hearing chirping. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if you we get here at we, home. We got the chicken song going on. We got on. the chicken song going on. Well, so what I saw, that's what it, you had called me back. Um, yeah, what I had seen is um, it, we're just not playing with the same intensity. Mm -hmm. Passing the ball it seems to be harder. We're not looking for the open and open lane. We're, we're kind of throwing the ball where we think they should be, maybe. Yes. But they're, when they're not, that just causes us turnovers. I don't know how many turnovers we have, but I, I think it's a lot, just errant throws. And I think that's going right. to a, a, be a real big thing for us if we can't stop that. Yes. We've got to stop those turnovers. Because like you said, you know, good defense leads to easy points on the other side. Right. So that's – you know, I was, I was impressed with the Bruins at the beginning of the game because they came out playing good defense and, and not making making the mistakes. Uh, they just got sloppy there at the uh, towards the end of the second quarter. So, but we're here at Blue River Junior Senior High School for the Lady Bruins today. Um, the, the Bruin boys basketball team will be here a week from tonight we will pack this place we, out we will pack this place out um but just watching you know as as we have uh, just observing all the kids here at the game i see one of the fathers of one of the varsity players i, I was talking about a little bit earlier and, and unfortunately i don't know his name but he was a freshman last year he was six foot four but when his dad walks into the gym, you can't hardly miss him because he's a seven-footer. <laughs> so, um, but that I know for the Bruin boys next week, um, the the Blue River team has uh, improved a lot. But looking forward uh, to the next game here today, the Varsity uh, Vikings uh, did a little research on them, and uh, they're I, I believe the record is five and one right now. Their only loss coming to Shenandoah by four points. So, you know, the varsity Lady Bruins are going to have their hands full. And um, so, you know, we've, uh, it, it's just kind of interesting. Every game so far is how the JV plays. You seem to see the varsity come out and play the same type of game. Yeah, or step it up. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, uh, varsity is going to have their hands full. I know Blue River has a couple players uh, that have been scoring well. And, uh, you know, for, for the Lady Bruins, we just want to uh, keep building on some consistency and uh, keep improving our defensive play, which, may, which leads to some easier offense. So watching the JV out here warming up with three minutes to go before the halftime, Watching Valentina. He's out. That's Valentina exactly who some, I was just watching. Take, taking some shots. Um, I was at school, at the high school uh, last week, and uh, she was in there shooting by herself in the gym um, with, well, obviously not her mother, but April the Bartlett. Yeah. April Bartlett, uh, um, who's host. the host of Valentina. Yeah. And. Uh, but she was she was shooting really well. It's it, always an interesting story because she had never played basketball. Really, the only sport she played before she came to America was volleyball. Yep. And uh, Steve was telling us all about. Well, I think you as well, Doug, talking about the uh, soccer games. Yep. I unfortunately I didn't make it to very many soccer games, so 
How'd she, how'd she do in soccer this year? I, I didn't get to watch as many soccer games as Steve did, so okay. I, I didn't get to see her. But there was a couple times I got to watch her, and it was just seeing somebody do something new for the first time, they go all out. Yes. So whether she did it right or wrong, it didn't matter. I mean, because she was, she was just going after it with such joy. So she was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. And I think that's the way I see her when she gets to play um, basketball, when she gets put in. You know, if she's not doing it like she should, who cares? I mean, she's she's trying something new. She's having fun with it. And I think that's what matters, having Ab- fun. Absolutely. Speaking of having fun, I'm sitting here watching some of the varsity players. If you can't hear the music in the background, we've got YMCA going on. We've got the girls are nice and relaxed today and dancing out on the floor a little bit. Well, the bit. manager it's is anyway, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt is having a ball down there. He's like leading the. Leading yep. the group. Like, come on, guys. Well, Alexa just gave us her move there a second ago. A little so, shimmy? Yeah, it's a little, little shimmy there. So it's good to see the girls having fun. You know, and you've got to have fun when you're playing Be sports, loose. too. Um, you know, it, it's it's a couple games they've lost this year. Obviously, they've lost by a, a large margin, and that's hard to keep your spirits up uh, that way. So, yeah. r- But right now, the JV girls <laughs> – uh, played it played a pretty good first half and I guarantee uh, that they'll come out ready to go coach Eric Nolan uh, in his first year with the Lady Bruins uh, Eric comes all the way from the Richmond area he drives up uh, from he lives in the Richmond area and drives up and is the uh, junior varsity coach here with the Bruins so this is his first year and uh Glad to have him on board with us. Uh, Shelby Martin is our varsity assistant coach. Mm-hmm. And Mitch Waters, our head girls coach, uh, in his second year. Mm-hmm. So it's it's um, you know just like in any program, uh, it, we're we're rebuilding here at Blackford High School and and our girls program being well coached by Say Coach Waters. Hey, this uh. This uh, half is brought to you by Huggins Auto Sales and Service. Huggins Auto Sales has been around Hartford City for how many years? 75 years, something like that? Very long time. So I think think we might be back up and going here with the software. Um, early turnover by the Lady Bruins gets the ball back over to the Vikings. Uh, they they've got their starters back in number 22 that got into some foul trouble early, uh, shooting a three pointer and it's good. That ties the game at 27. And th- and this is where it's so so crucial to be on your person. They left her wide open, just like they almost did. That's that would have been a nice three pointer put down. Yep. So we're and then rebounding, of course, is always an issue. They called oh, a foul. I thought Alexa re, uh, grabbed to hold of the ball and trying to get a jump ball, but, but they end up yep. calling the foul on her. But good defensive stand there by Alexa Hurd. Gives the ball back out to the Vikings, and and uh, we're into a 3-2 zone right now. So we're, we're going to force them trap, into trap the out, right outside. There. And Hodges almost got that in interception and another three-point play that's Samantha Webb that's six quick points and underneath Hodges nice two struggle glass. for an easy go. two that great look by Hodges finding finding Strobel wide open underneath the basket and Muncie playing tough tough defense so it's we've got a, a Maybe it's a one-two-two two defense. It's it's hard to tell sometimes because the point scoots back into the paint. I don't see us trapping like we did the other night with Lighthouse. We yes, we, the, if they got anywhere near having any trouble of, of picking up the ball and not having somebody to throw to, we were all over them. Yes, I do not see that tonight. No, squaring up for a three off the mark. Vikings retain. See, there we go. Now we're looking at a trap. Yes. But, but then we leave somebody wide open that gets the And good defense by, by Hurd coming up with the rebound. Gets it out to Hodges. 
Nice job fighting for that. Uh, and thrown into Strobel and off of her fingertips and stolen away by the Vikings. You know, we were saying when the when the boys played the other night, when the ball slipped out of their hands, we had the, they had chicken dinner that night. Right, right. Maybe, maybe the girls had turkey. We had <laughs> too much turkey. Too much turkey. Too much turkey on their hands turkey right fingers. now. Ball slip slipping out. Uh, ho hopefully they've uh, washed their hands. I would. They're girls, of course they have. Of course. <laughs> That's foul on Muncie. That'll be her first foul, I believe. So we're puts number twelve at the line. And the Vikings coming out really strong here in the second half. Uh, Taking the lead at 33. Missed the second shot there. 33-29 in the third. And she'll go for her third free throw as she was fouled on a three-point attempt. And Off she misses mark. that one. So maybe not a bad foul when she only hit one of the three free throws. Heard for three points, and it's Gets in. It. That's a three-point shot by Heard. And that's the way you come back. That's a great That's a great move. We have a timeout. Oh, we have somebody coming in. That's seven points for Heard tonight. Number 34 coming in for, what was that number 22 that just went out? So Cower coming in for uh, number 14, actually. 14, Trinity Driscoll, yeah. There's 22 again from the three-point shot, and this one is off. Rebounded by number 12, and it is up and good. Another two points. 4.06 to go. The Vikings have taken the lead by three points. They were down by three at half. And then we and see another basketball stuck. It, that's two games in a row we've seen a basketball yeah. stuck. Under inflated, possibly. We're <laughs> wait, waiting to see. The ball should be go back to the Now I'm side, waiting to yes. see one of the girls jump up and knock it, knock it in. That's two. Two for Strobel. <laughs> nope. So the ball gets stuck between the rim and the back backboard. So the ball is turned over then to Blue River. So Blue River really coming out strong here in the second second half, uh, relying heavily on their see uh, right there Samantha Webb. Hodges should have dropped down because she was making her way to the paint. Gotcha. But Hodges got brought out away from her, drawn away from her, when she should have dropped down and got that ball. Well, unfortunately, uh, she tries to get in the middle and, and turns the ball three. over, back over to the Bruins, and uh, save, trying to save it by Brian, uh Yes. Eppard. <laughs> Kylie Eppard. Out on Blackford. Again, scores 35-32. The Vikings are up by three now after – Trailing by three. Going Almost into a the nice half. pick off. Hodges we, is pretty got quick. It. Oh, stolen by by Macy. Nice and layup. Up for Hard. a left-handed layup and foul. Draws the foul. That's what we. That's the, the other thing we're missing. We're missing yes. taking it to the hoop. Yes. Drawing the foul on the big girls. Yes. It's a foul on number 22. That's Willis for the Vikings. That'll put Macy at the uh, free throw line, shooting two. And Macy misses her first one. So Macy Cagle starting the game tonight for the Bruins. Came in with an early four points and has a chance to add one more here at the free throw line. And this one is off as well. So misses the opportunity to close the gap. And here comes Webb back down. And looks like they're starting a little bit of a weave, trying to take the pressure off of their offense and uh, turned over. Macy Cagle comes up with the ball, passes it over to Alexa Hurd. Hurd crosses the line over to Eppert, over to Strobel. Strobel from off. about 12 foot, a little bit strong. And, and there we go. 
Those little things like that is what we need. Making good, them throw errant throws. Good pressure put on by, by. Uh, good pressure put on by Kaylee Hodges and and uh, goes off of Blue River. It'll be Bruins ball with, with, um, two thirty eight to go. Auto sales and service with Scott Comfer and crew have over 85 years of experience in the auto sales and service area. Since 1946, Huggins has been a name you can trust to get you the car or truck you need and providing you with all of your service department needs from their highly trained ASC master technician. We're located at 2603 North Walnut Street in Hartford City. Or you can see their inventory at HugginsShowroom.com. <laughs> okay. Are we back? Count us back in. Okay. okay. Two thirty-eight to go in the third period. Vikings are up thirty-five to thirty-two. Not too far out of the reach for going into the third. We're no. we're sitting all right. We just need to get back uh, to what we were doing early in the game and and. Uh, Get the defensive pressure. Or going into the fourth. I'm sorry. Right? No, we're still in the third period. 2.38 to go in the That's third. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay attention. Inbound to Hodges. Hodges bringing it across. And, and uh, they've gone to a 2-1-2 defense, trying to get us to have to shoot over the top of them. And that's, you know, those are the little changes that happen, the coaching changes that happen. And stolen away. Oh. 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 <laughs> Effort kind of, I'm not sure what. <laughs> she was going on after the ball. and uh, That's her fourth. Yes. Well, okay. Yep. So yep. they get the ball back and they get, get to go to the line. So did she, she made that shot too, didn't she? Yeah. So three point three point play. That's number four on Kylie Efford. So she'll take a seat with two nineteen to go in the third period. Westerfield back in. So with this uh, two two three defense being played by the Vikings, they're they're looking to see us uh, have to shoot the three point play. Uh, work, we're trying work it to, to the inside. work it to the inside. Work it to the inside, and and there's. Heard for three, uh, just off the bank board, and going to yeah. be a reach-in foul yeah. on Kegel. That would be number th three, I think, on Kegel. Let's see. Yep, that's that's Kegel's third foul as well. So I know, I know listening to coaches in the in the practice, um, we're we're reaching in instead of moving our feet. So we've got to get get the girls moving their feet to get in better position so they don't have to reach in and create those fouls. And 14 goes up for the shot and a foul on Alexa Hurd trying to block that shot. That'll be two, I believe, on, no, that's Alexa's fourth foul. So that's four fouls on Hurd. Looks like Muncie will be coming in for her. Oh. And the free throw is not good. So Muncie coming in for Alexa Hurd. Number 14 is um, Trinity Driscoll shooting her second free throw and misses both of them. So maybe not a bad, not a bad free throw, but. Not sure it was off of Kaylee Hodges, even though 42 had position on the inside, they say it was out off of Kaylee. So. Nice job by Muncie getting that ball back. Yes. Picking it off on an inside throw. We just, there we go. That's we what go. I'm talking about. Nice job by Hodges driving to the inside, trying to draw a foul. Closes the gap to four points, 38-34. Vikings are up with a minute to go in the third period. So we got plenty of time. We just need to st stay calm, stay relaxed, 
and wor work the ball through. Passed inside, picked up by Kegel, and, and Kegel for two more. So they're Closes doing it to two. I think you called it just right there, Doug. You said we need to work it to the inside and pass it to the inside. We're getting those passes, and I think Muncie could have had that. I think she tripped or fell. Yes. So she was out of position to get the ball on the inside. So unfortunate. Strobel from 10 feet out, just off the rim. Rebounded long out, in, out to in, the Vikings. In. There we go. And nice we job. Nobody over here to on. help with that, though. Strobel drop, stepping out to get up against uh, 22 to keep her from that easy score. 12. That was a nice yeah. running. Over running back on Hodges, I do believe. Got to do a better job of getting in position, get you know for a rebound. That's a good running jumper though by the Viking uh, number twelve again, Kelsey Porter. Be out of bounds on the Bruins, and again positioning is everything. Muncie is right there to get the rebound. Out to Hodges. Hodges brings it across. She shoots a three, and a short. Rebounded by the Vikings, and that'll end the period. 40 to 36, Vikings are up by four as we get ready for the fourth period. We'll be right back after this message. Are you looking for a used car at an affordable price? Call Dave Montgomery at Dave's Car Corner. He has the nicest used cars on the market, and you just can't beat the friendly service that Dave Montgomery provides. Located at 1225 North Walnut Street in Hartford City. East, Eastbrook is down 14 to nothing. Auto sales and service with Scott Confer and crew have over 85 years of experience in the auto sales and service area. Since 1946, Huggins has been a name you can trust to get you the car or truck you need and providing you with all of your service department needs from their highly trained ASC master technician. Located at 2603 North Walnut Street in Hartford City, or you can see their inventory at HugginsShowroom.com. A couple players, uh, Kylie Eppard and Alexa Hurd, are in foul trouble right now with four fouls apiece. So they've got to watch uh, only one more foul to give, and we have a period to play. I think this is our game to lose. If, yes. if, that's, if that's a way to look at it, I, I think if we just do simple things better, we'll be just fine. Right. But I don't think that Blue River's playing – harder than we are i think they're just a few chips are going their way a little you know falling yes. their way but i think if we just start doing those those simple things better i think we're going to be just fine we're only down four we got we got to watch our passing protect we're, we're trying to we're trying to pass cross court and in a zone defense against us that gives them plenty of time to fill those passing lanes over so Coach has made some adjustments here. There you go. We're start, to the starting inside. to see Keep some going. movement underneath. Then there's Hurd up for two and gets her own rebound. Nice go follow up, up there and up for it. two and gets fouled. That's that's exactly what we need to see. That was a great job by Alexa Hurd. Took the shot, followed it in. And you know, it, you'll hear me say that 17 times. Uh, boys, girls, whatever level of basketball, when you take a shot, you follow it in, and that's exactly what Alexa did. Nice Came shot in and got, got the rebound, got fouled, and, and Alexa, I won't say this until she finishes shooting this shot, but she is perfect from the line. That's four for four from the free throw line for Pressure. Alexa. Pressure. And that's nine there points Pressure. for her. So... Bruins putting on a full court pressure again. This is kind of where we started. And the Strobel inside. there to uh, a little bit late getting there. And it, so an easy, easy, easy two points for Anticipating where the ball is going to be is, is so key. Inside. Work so it. one of the things we've got to get better at is when we're dribbling is that we keep our heads up and look for the open person. 
Hurd gets the ball inside, drives it in, and is fouled again. Goes down on that leg. Is that? I'm not sure if that's her bad leg. Which one did she hurt in soccer? I'm not sure. Okay. It was her foot. But she gets tripped. I thought, okay, I thought they might call that a shooting foul. Drew a foul on number 14. That's her first. But still, we're doing. That's the things that we need to be doing and hammering away at, yes. and getting them to rethink. Uh, you know, trying to block a, a a layup or something because they're in foul trouble. Right. Strobel from Off. three points out, rebounded by Muncie. Long pass, nobody there to help out. Strobel gets back and not quite in time again. That looked just like the last one. That transition that number 12 has. That uh, that's Porter. Shot by Hodges off, and again rebounded by the Vikings. Br Lady Bruins going back into uh, taking the pressure off of the full court. Nice. Uh, oh. That was all ball. Oh, there was nothing mercy. wrong with that at all. That was called on Kaylee Hodges, and... Look like a good block from our vantage point. Yeah, I think I think several people. That's <laughs> that's number three on Kaylee. Five seventeen to go in the game. The Vikings are up forty four to thirty eight, and number fourteen is Trinity Driscoll misses on her first free throw. You know, you never never won a foul, but sometimes um, the. The last couple times at the free throw line, the fouls have been worthwhile because they've missed the free throws. And uh, and hard. again, rebounded by Hurd, out to Hodges. And again, that foul didn't hurt us other than just getting another foul on one of our tip. players. Tipped away, Muncie gets a, gets her own rebound and tries to, to find that somebody. That was a double dribble. That's oh, and above the palming, her. and they're not gonna call it. So, and, and, and Heard has four fouls, so she couldn't afford to go and take that chance. So, um, palming and traveling, and they didn't call it either way. So, I guess we shouldn't be complaining about the refereeing, but we just call what we yeah. see, I guess. Not complaining. We just, so, we, we, whatever we see. Yes. You know, we, we have to be. Oh, and they're Effort stolen away. Out. Effort going for layup and gets it. Gets it. Another two points. Closes the gap down to six points with 4.25 to go in the game. Effort gets another two points. That's five for Effort today. Get position. There you go. Nice job. It's off of White. And be brewing ball. ball. Good position there underneath by Strobel. Number 30 will come in for number 14, which is a good thing for us. <laughs> Trinity Dubois uh, is, is coming in for Driscoll. Driscoll's been hitting a lot more shots, and I don't think number 30 has any, so that's a plus for us. All right, Bruins bringing the ball down again. They to the rack. There you go. Strobel Get in there, and Strobel. It gets her own rebound yeah, and, and gets foul. fouled. I think that's going to be on number 20, Willis. Great job on Strobel's part. She put the put the shot up, oh. went in, and got her own rebound, put it up again, and was fouled the sec on the second shot. They give it to number 42. Number 42. I didn't think she was close. Was, yeah, I but thought it was. Okay. okay. Strobel from the line just off the front of the rim for, for missing her first free throw. Really need those charity stripe points. And timeout got called a, by. Is that a full timeout? Let's He's see. He's going to tell us. We got a full, full timeout. 3.57 to go in the game. 46 to 40. The Lady Bruins are trailing right now. So we're looking to finish this game strong by the Lady Bruins. So. Scoring wise, I think we're going to keep it here. Or are we going to commercial? Nope, we're going to keep it right here. We're going to keep it right here. So, just a little scoring recap right now. We got Kay Kaylee Hodges leading the Bruins with 15 points, uh, Alexa Hurd with nine. We've got uh, both Kylie Eppard and Strobel with five points today. 
And that's who we have on the floor right now with um, uh, Muncie, the fifth person on the, on the floor. And the Vikings are being led by number 22. That's uh, Samantha Webb. Came out really hot here in the second half. She's got 13 points. And uh, number 12, Kelsey Porter has 12 points. And if you notice, if you look at their JV team, they're all freshmen. Their JV is all freshmen and all sophomores. So Strobel back at the free throw line looking to hit her second free throw. And it's up and it's good. See how she got her legs under her? Yes. That really helped pop that ball over the rim. Yes. And sometimes I think when you get tired, that just doesn't happen. Nice clean no. to the inside. Nice passing by the Vikings, and it led to another easy two-point layup. We're missing some defensive uh, assignments Nobody here. Nobody in the inside to block. Rebounded by the Vikings. And uh, Vikings are doing a good job of getting back and, and letting them straight to the paint. Bruins looking a little bit confused right now on their defensive assignments. Confused uh, and tired. Yep. Nine point lead right now. Hodges out front. No, yeah. Another. I think we're, we're just looking very tired right now. Yep. This, is, this isn't a good way to end the, the quarter. Yep. Especially when we had them within six. Yep. You know, so now it's just becoming a runaway train. Three minutes and eight seconds to go in the game. Vikings are up now 52 to 41. We've got a not good with math, but I believe that's 11 <laughs> points. <laughs> we got to dig deep. Got to dig deep and stop stop the easy stuff going to the inside, cutting them off, yep. uh, forcing them to you know, pick up the ball and look for somebody to pass to, and then pick it off. We've, we've done this. Yes. You know, and I thought we've done very well at doing it, yep. uh, especially this group here. So uh, the only thing I can think of, honestly, is just it, I think they may have just run out of gas. Yep. And uh, – you know, we've we've got a pretty experienced JV team out here right now, and and I know, uh, like Alexa didn't play in the first quarter because they're trying to save quarters for the varsity game as well. So, you know, we've got Macy Cagle on the uh, on the bench as well right now because I know we're trying to save her an extra quarter. So when the JV players have to play all four quarters, that only gives them one quarter availability for the varsity. Yeah. So, you know, we've got – so off the JV team, we'll have both Alexa and uh, Macy Cagle will have uh, two quarters that they can play in the varsity game. Hodges over to Eppard. Eppard over in the corner to Strobel underneath the Herd. Herd goes up for the two. And – That was a foul. That's an unfortunate non-call. Yep. For us. So – A little bit of a mismatch with Muncie and uh, Webb. And Webb's been killer know, from the outside. She's back in the lineup. We've got, you can tell Blue River going into a slowdown offense. They don't need to score. They're up by 11. Bruins, Bruins have to get the ball back. And, but we're playing with Eppard and, and Hurd both with four fouls, so they have to be careful not to foul out. Tough position to be in by the by the Lady Bruins. Up and over, out of position. Good transition by Brianna to get and to, to the inside. Out of bounds off of Blue River. That'll be the Bruins ball. Eppard throwing it in to Hodges. Now let's go, ladies. Let's show them what we got. When you're tired, you gotta just you just gotta put more. You gotta give more. Yep. Even though you're tired. Turn around, nice jump shot, shot by her. Another two points for Alexa. That's 11 points for Alexa today. Eppard cutting off the baseline. Good job of defense. And nice block by Strobel. And that hurts. 
We gotta we gotta rip that ball away from him. Gotta get strong. Nine point lead for the Vikings. I really thought we had an opportunity to, to cut it nice down. Nice block and that's by Muncie. Good. Shortest person on the oh, floor no. blocked one of the tallest people on the floor. And the pass goes long for the Bruins and then that one more turnover for the Bruins. That's one minute, 28. That's been our uh, Achilles heel today is just turnovers. Um, long shot uh, in the corner by Blue River. Rebounded by Eppard and drives she, all the way she down. Could have she, she could have leveled that girl. She was not set yeah and and that would have been that, that mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's it's hard not to be critical sometimes of the referees so yeah. we'll just i guess move on um but Epper drove the ball I, I tell you what she gets the ball down the fo floor faster than anybody i know well except for one guy that we know but yeah but kylie does a great job of of moving the ball forward Yeah, that's a telegraphed pass. Yep, number the, forty saw it coming. At, at this point, at this point, Blue River knows our offense, and they're going to dive and try to get that ball. <laughs> Looks like um, Blue River is going to take out a couple of their starters. Uh, up by nine points with fifty-one seconds to go in the game. Over to Hurd. Hurd takes a in for shot. two. Brings it to seven. Now, see, nope, there should be nope. a full court press there. That, that, did, to get that the didn't go back. in. Oh, it didn't? No, it looked like it did. It sure did. It, it hit the front of the rim and skimmed <laughs> down the net, Gee. but it didn't go in. How? <laughs> when you're this far away, it looked like it. Because they, they, the reason I knew is because they didn't take the ball out of bounds. Oh, well. <laughs> Big skyrocket right there to an open receiver. Yeah, that should be on... Number, 40, Number 40 fouls Kaylee Hodges, and that's just the fifth team foul for the Vikings. The Vikings have done a good job of not fouling or not being called for fouls. Only five team fouls for the whole half. 25 seconds to go. Over in the corner to Eppard. Eppard for three off and bounces out of bounds going to the Vikings. 52 to 43 with 15.9 seconds to go in the game. And looks like the Vikings are going to come out of this one unscathed. And uh, Lady Bruins will go home a little disappointed today. But there's the end of the game with 52 to 43. So. And. We're going to we'll cut this one off and, and get we'll ready back for the varsity game We'll now. be back for the varsity in just a minute. On behalf of the Blackford Sports Network, we would like to thank the athletic departments of both schools and thank you for watching this broadcast of the Blackford Bruins. Remember to see our sponsors and thank them for giving us the opportunity to broadcast live with you.